recording. Okay. All right, so I'm going to share my screen real quick like here. So one of the resources that we have up on our website is the Project Core website from the University of North Carolina. Um, it has a lot of options in terms of a universal core selection tool, being able to print off universal core communication boards to be able to use in the classroom low tech wise uh, to, uh, you know, have around the room for different centers um, so we can model and start them out on some communication. So it allows you options of being able to print off such boards as this one, which if I have a student that I'm working with and we're not quite sure what we're using, I will start off with this initially, um, just a generic core board and then work with them on an evaluation for high tech if we're getting towards the high tech need. So, but it also has um, lots of different professional development areas, lots of different um, webinars to watch on different options. Um, it's also good, has some good ones in there on modeling, which is good for the assistants and the para pros to watch in the classroom so they can learn more about um, what they're supposed to be doing with the students when they are around. So currently out there, are the two major high tech devices um, besides the iPad with communication apps is uh, Frankie Romick, which has the new voice um, uh, uh, language software. Um, they just changed over to the Empower language software. Um, so they have the Unity language, which is what you see here, but then they also have oh, wrong one. This is the LAMP software. So the tell difference between whether your student is using Unity or LAMP because a lot of the icons are very similar. I always look at the want option. If it's a robber with a wanted poster, it's LAMP or Words for Life. Um, if it's Unity, it's going to be a cookie jar with a child stealing a cookie. Um, Usually that's when I can tell because one is one of those first core words that we teach. So it's on most of the communication boards. So what I have open right now is what they call the PASS software from Print Keyromic. You can download it from their website. If you type in PRC PASS, P-A-S-S -S software, um, it will post it. It will come up immediately for you to be able to download. It will speak for 30 days, but then it stops speaking. Um, but it has a couple of um, essential features that can be helpful. Um, number one, you're able to emulate the software so I can go through and figure out where words are um, initially to figure out what words I want to use. Um, I can also do uh, tool options. I can go to a page and I can hit screen capture. It's going to screen capture my page and pull it up. Okay, it's giving me a problem. Let's try that again. So I can go to the tools option. I can hit screen capture. It takes a picture of it. I can give it a name. You save it, it brings it up in the paint or um, photo option where then I can go in and highlight certain areas or words. So I can print off a low tech that has certain um, icons circled if I need to, to provide options. Another cool feature, and this is what I use a lot um, for giving parents information and giving out to teachers um, is showing them how to use the write with icons feature. So the write with icons feature allows me to be able to um, write a sentence and I can choose which I I want them to use, which I want the double I based on my kid and what they're using. Um, Again, it comes up and it wants to do the combination phrase. I don't want it to, so it's going to use the initial one. 
um, So it allows me to be able to create an icon sequence. I can also use it to create um, activity. So if I'm working on, we're playing blocks, we're going to build up, make it tall, knock it down. So I can create different um, sequences um, to be able to provide information and be able to create flashcards if I need to for students to learn where these words are on the communication device. Um, I've used it to hand out a list of words that we're working on with a certain child to paraprofessionals because they don't get to see the device all the time. Um, so they can they can have their kind of shortcut page of what words are supposed to use and where what the icon sequence is so that it makes it easier for them to learn where things are because they have a cheat sheet. So the next one, I don't know if y'all are familiar with Snap Core First, but there is a Snap Core First emulation software that can be downloaded. And so that allows me to go in and play and learn where words are again. I'm able to go in, choose all words, figure out where the food and drink is. I can make a special, um, make pages in here to be able to transfer the child's device, which is very helpful because I may not be able to make pages at the time I'm sitting with that student in the 20 or 30 minutes I have with that student, but I'm able to make those pages in my own time when I'm sitting at home watching television, I can go through and make a page for a child. And then all I have to do is put it on a USB flash drive or put it in my, in my, to, my Toby Donovox account and download it to their device. Um, provides lots of um, more um, flexibility in terms of when you have to make changes to a child's device. But they also have a sister software, which is Pathways to Core First. If you haven't downloaded, it is a free download. Um, there's no cost, but allows us to be able to go in and create a user for each student that I'm working with. So I can create many different profiles based on what they're using. I can go in and choose what skills I want to learn, use with them. So they have it broken up into different categories here. So I can choose one, which is basically using the device and daily activities. So we choose a daily activity that we'll be doing with that child. I'm going to do a cooking lesson. So it gives me an entire layout of a lesson plan. It gives me a quick lesson guide and then gives me a day by day layout of everything I can do with that child related to cooking. There's a letter I can send home or to the other participants working on the team with this child in terms of what we're doing and um, what we're using. So it's an entire five day lesson plan, gives me information, um, which words and which categories I need to be able to look up and find. Again, it's very helpful. It's a creative lesson. It gives you, you know, this is what we're gonna do, a certain time frame on day two, day three, day four, and day five, it's an entire lesson plan. Um, they also have a customization area so you can customize, learning to customize on the device, how you customize. Um, they have a tip section where you can learn about different tips of what uh, modeling is, providing the communication environment, but it also has, and this is um, a copy of the uh, dynamic um, AAC goals grid which provides us with goals um, based on where our learner is, where they are an emergent, emergent transitional, context dependent, up to an independent, but then also it gives us different goals for linguistics, operations, social and strat strategic goals. Um, so I can pull up all these strategic goals. These are the first ones I need to be able to accomplish. These are the second ones. I can go in and, and mark these whether I've met it or we're working on it. And then it also provides a lesson plan that I can be able to access 
to increase those skills so we can meet that goal and move on to the next one. You can print this off if you need to. So you can print one now and then print one in a few months again, go through this assessment goal again and figure out which ones we've met and which ones we're working on um, to be able to then gradually move your child or student up the level that, it, that he needs to meet. Um, you can do your own customized ones. Um, they do have these original ones. These are the ones uh, on these, they have um, books that you can print out to go with it. So some of them do have one to two books that are already pre-made that you can print out to have the student read that incorporates this word consistently throughout the whole book. Um, they do have some of these um, set up. They do have a core first learning box set that can be purchased. Um, but a lot of this is available through here already. And this option is it's just a free download from their website. So are there any questions so far? Am I going too fast? Okay, <laughs> just wanted to check and make sure. Another one, this is some uh, one of the paid ones, is the AAC Language Lab. So they very similarly have a, um, so this is one that there are free, uh, some items that are free and available to you, but it is a $20 a year subscription to subscribe um, per year. So that's not a very bad cost. It used to be a lot more, but they do like the, the pathways to core first have a language screener based on their language um, levels. So you can go in and learn what each language stage is. What they are and how they work. And then you can go in and take the language screener test. Um, basically, you can print out your uh, evaluation and eventually, like I said, it steps you through the questions it's going to ask you about your student or child that you're working with and then gives you, you know, what you probably need to be working on, gives you your results, basically. This is where it was, what language stage you're in. Once you know that, when you go to lessons and activities, if mine said, oh, he's in language stage three, then I'm gonna go to things in language stage three, such as simple sentences, adding more words, doing plurals, and doing negatives. Then it gives me lesson plans that I can use to be able to increase their skills, knowledge, and purposes. If you have certain words that you're trying to target, you can type them in here and learn what they are, our lessons that go with them. Um, you also have activities. So some of these activities are fun activities to send home to the parents um, to do. Um, some of them are very handy in the classroom to do. Um, it can be cooking activities to puzzle cards to games they have available based on the language stage that you're in. They also do have a few curriculums here to be able to use and resource. Um, I have not used any of them, but I have heard good things about them. There are also some other evaluation tools and your manual boards. So if you're needing a Unity 45 manual board, a coronavirus manual board, a Lamp Words for Life manual board. You can print out, you know, your modeling lanyards. You can do all of this stuff from here. Your realized language, usually most devices, if it's a dedicated device from PRC, it comes with a year subscription um, to the AAC Language Lab. There's a code that you put in to do that year subscription. So I tell a lot of my parents and school teams to work together and create that one email address or one login for AAC Language Lab so that they can both use it from home and from school, creating um, that so they can both log in and pull documents and information off of it. Um, it also has a subscription to the realized language that allows you to be able to kind of track for the SLPs is a good way for them to track what words are being used versus what words we may need to work on. 
um, to increase their usage of other words, such as we're using more nouns than we are using verbs or adjectives. Um, it'll give you a big chart of what all you're using. Um, and what words are being used at what time of day? You know, do we have more frequency use in certain times? Um, so it's a valuable data report system, especially if you're doing a trial option on some of these children, that data can help with the reporting to get their own device. You can also pull up your word lists. Um, this give me five tool is very handy because it basically is something you print out and you get, you name your toy or activity and then you document your core words that you're going to use. And those are the words that you're going to be using throughout that activity. So that's something you can hand to the teacher, you can hand to the parents and say, hey, we were doing this activity and these are the words that we're going to use when we're doing this activity. Providing them with that option and knowledge of what they should be modeling on the device. Um, they also do have a blog going where they have different individuals that write in. Some of these are the ambassadors for PRC. Um, they write in different articles about how they use their devices and things that are affecting them. Um, and it's very helpful and useful in terms of getting their background information. We have There is the um, Unidad, which is a Spanish version that you can access um, and be able to provide a manual board for home life um, if needed. Um, all of these resources do have a Spanish version and other language versions if needed. So are y'all familiar with AAC Language Lab? Again, it's only a $20 subscription for a year subscription. You get access to everything with your non-paid subscription. You only get access to certain things. I'm sure you all have used lesson picks. So this is um, a program that allows me to be able to create a lot of materials. Um, I can go in and be able to create um, game boards and dice and uh, picture cards and visual schedules. Um, I recently did a we did our camp here and I needed a visual schedule for my camp activities as to what we were doing. So I made a visual schedule for my children because um, I had some in camp that really needed that visual schedule of what we were going to do. We were going to watch a video, then we read a book, then we did our craft, then we washed our hands, we had our snack. But anyway, they knew it was going to happen next and they needed that information because otherwise they were constantly coming up and asking me when are we going to have our snack or when are we going to do this or when are we going to do that? This decreased those options because they knew what was going to happen next. So if I'm doing an activity with cars, I'm probably going to use the words go. Stop. up down and fast and slow
So then I'm going to hit create materials and I'm going to tell it I want to create a custom dice. Everything is correct. I hit finish. I can download it then and open it up and print. So now I have a dice for our car game. So this is again a handy tool to be able to create many, many different things. Um, a lot of people have told me they like it um, a lot. They've used it a lot once they've learned how to use it. Um, it's been very initial. You have a lot of pre-made boards. So if I'm looking for a preschool core board, I can type that in my search engine. It's going to come up with all of these results for a basic preschool core board that's made up. Other people have posted items. So this is one that they've posted that we can download at the tips of our fingers and have it ready to go. Do y'all have any resources that you use? The assistive wear core work classroom is what you're using. Very handy. I like it because it has those five minute options to be able to send home to the parents because I know the parents have a lot to do. Um, I do like the core work planners and I've used it not just for my Proloquo users but also for my other users. Um, to send home certain activities for my students to do. Again, you can print the Proloquo to go core board, which is um, a handy low tech because technology is great until it completely breaks down and we still need to be able to talk. So you can download your core word boards to use. The five minute fillers are what I use a lot with parents um, because five minutes to do something um, can definitely make a make it easier in terms of at home life because once they get home from school it's this and that and bath time and bedtime. So providing this and giving them the option of being able to pull up an idea such as a memory game coming up with this little five minute filler I can send home of words they can use and telling them I don't you know words and phrases they can use with the student to model on the device um, definitely makes it so much easier for them to be able to do an activity with their children using the communication device. We have lots of resources also on our Tennessee Talks website. We have our implementation, the printable tools. We're trying to put as much here as we can so that y'all are able to find it. And we'll also be putting the recordings um, from these trainings. We also have a parent roundtable going on on Tuesday nights from four to five central time, five to six Eastern time. And it's just an open forum for parents to come and learn more information about um, AAC and using it at home and how important their role is in getting this to be a successful tool for their child. So we are working on that. We're also working on a parent or professional roundtable also 
to include where y'all can just it's kind of like us having office hours and you can call you can sign on and work with answer ask questions and we can help you answer them those are not recorded um, unless we're going over specific material um, or doing us if we're doing specific training we'll record it but if we're just asking and answering questions that will not be recorded so does anybody have any other questions anything you're looking for in terms of resources Nikki, did you have any questions? All right, well, thank you for your time. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you have anything you would like to share, please share. We're always up for more information. Um, thank you for attending this session and sorry again about it being late start. <laughs> Um, but if there's anything I can do to help you guys um, or any of the other centers um, for the grant, we're, we're there to help and support you guys. So we look forward to working with you.